Morning announcements! Good morning, GCHS. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday, April 15th. From the desk of Mr. Peters, senior commencement has not been canceled yet. Our school is very aware of the situation going on in our country, and we will wait to make a decision about commencement at a later date. Any senior who did not pick up their senior items needs to plan on picking up their order. Details regarding pickup time are being coordinated. If you owe, please have exact cash. Prom has been postponed as of right now until further notice. Senior 21st Century Scholars, you have received an email about your scholarship requirements. You need to complete the steps indicated in the email and then submit the Google form. Any questions or concerns, email Mrs. Hurd. Per Mr. Peters, our administration will be working on dealing with issues we are having with remote learning. Understand this is our first time doing this, and they are going to contact families and work with teachers on issues that may come up. Spring academic team participants, listen up. The regional academic Super Bowl has been changed to an individual competition. Please read your email from Mrs. Swank for details and respond today. Work permits will be processed during the quarantine. You still need an intent to employ. Card filled out by the employer. Additional information needed is birth date in place of birth. After you have this information, contact Mrs. Mintz or Mr. Peters through an email and a work permit will be processed and returned to the employer. Only students who are under 18 years of age need a work permit. Our special announcement today is Rabbi Myers. Hope you enjoy. Good morning, Greensburg High School students. My name is Jeffrey Myers, and I'm the rabbi of Tree of Life Congregation in Pittsburgh. Some of you may be familiar with the horrific events of October 27, 2018, when a lone gunman entered our building and murdered 11 people because they were Jewish. I witnessed this massacre, but that is not the purpose of my addressing you this morning. I bring a message of hope. Sometimes it takes a really bad experience to bring out the really good things in people. And I continue to see this day after day, really wonderful things being done by ordinary people. That is not to exclude the incredible efforts of doctors and nurses, emergency medical personnel, grocery store workers, mail carriers, and delivery people, just to name some, who continue to risk their lives every single day. They are our modern day heroes and deserve all of our praise. They are the ones who deserve parades in their honor in every single town in the United States once it is safe to do so. Today, I want to focus on the ordinary people doing extraordinary things. I came to learn about the good and ordinary people over the past 18 months, when strangers from across the globe sent emails, letters, cards, expressing their condolences and reassuring me that the deeds of one bad person do not reflect what humanity is about. I came to learn that they were indeed correct, and I have continued to experience this goodness. There are so many good stories that do not make the news every day about the good things that decent people are doing to help other people in need especially at a time like we are experiencing today. While it is impossible to list all of them, and that by itself is a wonderful problem to have, permit me to share a few examples. A sixth grader emailed her math teacher that she was having problem understanding the new material. He came over to sit on her porch with a whiteboard and markers and taught her through the glass door. An Arab immigrant to Italy who owns a fruit market is giving the fruit away for free. The sign outside his store reads, you welcomed me to this country 10 years ago. I now return the favor. A young man posted that his uncle never learned to write in English. So he is spending the time teaching him so that he can write to his grandchildren. A young woman posted that her grandmother, who is in isolation, dialed a wrong number on her telephone, 
but had a lovely conversation with the woman on the other end. They are now telephone friends and plan to meet up once it is safe. A young man in Ridgefield, Connecticut posted online that he is a nine-year-old who plays the violin. He would be delighted to come outside anyone's home and serenade them for their birthday or any other reason. A young man whose family owns a 3D printer found instructions on how to print an appropriate face mask for his uncle, whose immune system is compromised. He has continued to print masks for those in the medical profession in his community. A family had to cancel their son's bar mitzvah, but did not cancel the contract with the caterer, who owns a very small business. The family delivered food to families in need throughout their community. A young man posted that his younger sister learned how to use a sewing machine so that she could make masks for those in the medical profession. Do you hear a theme? All of us are capable of doing extraordinary things. The people that I just mentioned do not have superpowers in the way that the Marvel Avengers do, but they do have superpowers that every one of you also possess. The power to care and do something about it. We might be physically distanced from each other, but that does not mean that we are socially distant from each other. Are you ready to admit that you have this superpower and will use it to better your community? That's the challenge I extend to each of you today. While most of the goodwill being done around us doesn't make the news, I can assure you that people will find out about it and be forever grateful for your good deeds. They will all be great examples of the power of humanity at its best all because of something incredible you did to make life better for someone else. That is why I have hope, because I know that all of you can do this. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. And keep washing your hands more than you think you need to. I pray that you and your family are safe and well. Shalom. Have a wonderful day, and be sure to follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, at GCHS Pirates, and I should also be uh, sure to listen to GTV Radio on Live 365. And happy birthday to Eli.